Alright guys, welcome back to Barbells and Burnouts. Um, so I'm having a little bit of issue with overheating with the car. And we were looking, looking, trying to figure out what was the issue. And I think I found it. So down in here on this bottom, let me see if I can get the camera down there. You guys see on this bottom hose, it is solid right there. And I'm squeezing with my two fingers versus down here. You see all that versus that? And the the tops off so I think I have a huge clog right here because we were having overheating issues before so right now um, I'm honestly gonna take the hose off and just see if I can unclog the hose I'm not sure if it's the radiator or hose at all so for right now I'm just gonna clean the hose and then we're gonna um, clean out the radiator and see what happens all right so let's do that So I thought that you know the firmness in the radiator hose was from it being clogged up. But really what it is, is that nice little spring right there in the radiator. Ooh, that's what you guys see. In the not in the radiator, in the hose. So I'm still looking for the issue. Um what it seems like is these hoses are extremely dirty on the inside. Like I'll run my finger in there so you guys can see. Oh my goodness. That's focus out camera. Come on. That's how dirty it is inside the radiator hose. That's disgusting. So I'm guessing that the radiator itself is disgusting. So I think right now I'm about to pull off all the hoses and see if I can swap them out. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to probably rinse out, clean out this radiator. So yeah, fun stuff. So I want you guys to take a look at the difference inside these holes. I don't know if you can see it. I can see in there with the light hit in there for you. But this hole in there, it's literally you can see all of the soot, the dirt, and everything. This is the one that I just pulled off. This one is the one that I just cleaned. And all the way down in there is fully black, clean, got everything out. So what I did was I took the the hose, just ran some water, took the pressure, the head on high pressure, and just cleaned everything out. So that's what I'm gonna do for this one, and I'm gonna probably pull the radiator and see if I can flush it out the same way. All right. So yeah, we're having fun. So what's crazy is I know the radiator is extremely dirty because, come on, look at all that dirt. The radiator in there. Blah! 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 I just literally poured out everything. That stick was in there already, but all this soot and trash. Come on, focus, camera. Focus. But all that trash, all that dirt, is in the radiator. So, I have to spray it out. All right, guys, so after fighting and fighting with this thing, I finally got the core off as you can see it is draining disgusting 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 uh, radiator fluid and water out of there so what I'm about to do just to clean it out a little bit somehow no I'm not sure if this is how you're supposed to clean it everything I'm just gonna try to take a hose high pressure hose stick it down in there and just turn it on and clean the whole thing and spray the whole thing out so here goes nothing Alright guys, so now it's the next day. Um, what I did was I put the whole um, cooling system back in, the radiator and the hose back in. But it was kind of bothering me a few days ago because I was like, oh, I really didn't get a chance to clean everything out. You know, um, I sprayed everything down. So I called a friend and was like, okay, so what do I have to put in the radiator? How do I clean it better? So he told me that I had to go grab some Presterone radiator flush and cleaner. So he said to pour this in there and fill the rest with water, then run the motor for about five minutes, let it get a little bit warm so it can clean everything out. Then I flush the radiator, then close it back up, put, uh, run it with water one more time, let it run for again for five minutes, run everything out, then I do repeat the process one more time, and then I should be good to go. So let's try this now. So I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but um, I actually just almost lost my finger. 
um, <laughs> being stupid. I went to reconnect this hose because it was spraying water out of it. And I put my finger here on the fan, on the, on the belt, and it caught my knuckle. So, that's my knuckle right there. I don't know if it's gonna focus. But it's fine, it's barely even touched the skin, thank God. But um, right now, I'm running the timer, I'm running the uh, press stone in there to try to clear it out, clean out the radiator. So, okay, I put it on timer for five minutes. So what we're gonna do is let it run for five minutes. And then we're gonna rinse it out. We're gonna flush it twice and then it should be good to go. All right, so right, basically right now, uh, we finished running the uh, motor. So right now I'm literally just emptying it. Actually, I should get a pan and empty it, shouldn't I? And actually not kill the environment. But yeah, so I'm literally just dropping the oil, the, not the oil. I'm about to drop all the fluid out. Um, then we're gonna fill it back up with distilled water. And we're gonna run it again for flush. Yeah, I was really, really thought I lost my finger for a second. Like, <laughs> it was really a, a, a oh God moment. But uh, I didn't, so I'm good, yeah. All right, so um, drained everything out and it looks terrible to me. It's extremely dirty to me. So I guess it did its job, you know? So um, what I'm about to do is about to fill it back up with water, do the two rinses, then we should be good, you know? So yeah. So I left I left the key in the ignition on in the on position because I was running the fans but I went in and shut the fans off and didn't remember to turn off the key because I have a switch in there. You suck! So the battery's dead. Great. Alright guys, so um, this is day what? Two, three. Um, I've been slacking. I wasn't able to get any jumper cables from anybody, so I had to wait um, because my roommate wasn't home. I wasn't didn't have a ride to the store, so I ran and got some jumper cables today. And I just finished running the motor again. Um, so I'm waiting for it to cool down now, and um, just waiting on it to cool down, and then I'm gonna drain it. Then do a run through one more time, and we should be good. What's really sad about this thing is that this should have really took me four hours no not even four hours it should have literally took me about 15 20 minutes and instead it's stretched to like two or three days this is embarrassing but you know it had to be done um i got some new jumper cables out of this and hopefully i won't have any issues with this radiator anymore yeah y'all might be wondering why are you wearing a hoodie in 90 degree weather well these mosquitoes suck so, I ain't trying to get bit. I've been ate up. So, yeah. I'm hot, but I'm not getting bit. Yeah, somebody's gonna say raid, but I'm fine with the heat. Also, um, I don't know if I told you guys that I was getting this little secret from you, but pick this up a few days ago. It's a T56. Um, it's not the Magnum. It's the regular T56 rated. It's out of a, I think he said a 99, what's it say on there? A top, it says a 99 Camaro. Um, these go for, I think, 2100, 2200 I've seen. Got this one, um, low mileage on it, for 750. So, we're gonna have some fun. I got the shifter plate, the shifter and the bell housing and the transmission for 750. So, yeah, we're gonna put that bad boy in this. Um, I'm obviously gonna have to cut the drive shaft and I think do a little bit of fabricating, but um, I think it bolts up to this, uh, three, it will bolt up to this 305. It should, because this is a 87 305, because it's swapped. Um, so it should bolt up. And I know I'm getting I'm getting a new rear end as well. Um, I had a conversation with Sasha, so I'm buying his old rear end off of him because he upgraded his as well. 
So um, hopefully that should clear up the whole transmission drive shaft or not drive, drive train issues that we've been having. So yeah, but the swap's not happening immediately. Um, what I may do is just run this T5 until it can't run no more because it's a new clutch and you know you gotta you gotta pace yourself with these things. But yeah, so that's the update. That is the big update, you know. So yeah. All right, guys. So I'm about to take this hose off. Probably should have waited a little bit longer. But oh, fun. Oh, fun. Let all that water out. There actually shouldn't have been any coolant in there. But I guess that's what's being cleaned out. Uh, I rinsed out of the car. But as you can see, um, that water, because I put only water, straight water in there. So I guess it was rinsing everything that was in the motor, cleaning everything out right now. But yeah, so I'm gonna, gonna run it through one more time. And hopefully that should get all the gunk and stuff out. So yeah. All right, guys. So now I'm just running her for five minutes, letting her, you know, get the. Oh, oh she always loves acting up on camera. Oh, here we go. That's why I didn't turn on the fuel pump. She's fuel starving. I turn those things on. There she is. Sounds a lot healthier. But yeah, I'm running the fuel pump for five minutes, or running the temperature for five minutes. I had it running for a little bit just now, maybe like two minutes without realizing the fuel pump wasn't on. So it's not that bad, she's good now. You see, she sounds a lot healthier now with the fuel pump on. All right guys, so she's rinsed out, cleaned out. Um, I put the new fluids back in and she should be good to go. So, sorry this was a short, fun video. It took forever to do, but it's gonna be kinda short um, in the editing. You're a liar! But um, remember to check out for more content like this. Um, be out on the lookout for the new build stuff we're gonna do. Um, I may or may not be doing the rear end soon, but I don't think I'm gonna drop the transmission in soon. Um, I just have to get parts for it and everything first. Uh, so, check out for new videos on that. As always, check out for the racing videos. I haven't done a workout video in a minute, um, just because I haven't had transportation to the gym uh, with my roommates being working So I haven't really been going as much as I should I think it's been like I went like twice in the last month, which is terrible, but um Check out I'll be going soon once this thing is up and running So like always check out for videos like that coming soon check out for every other videos We do remember to share it to everybody like subscribe and I'll check you guys later